Welcome back to the next part of uh, making a ramshorn crook. In the last part we'd heated and squeezed this up in straight shells. We're going to leave that now. We're going to start heating this area here and we're going to pop it through uh, this press again with these shells and see how far we can work uh, with these particular size shells. And then if we have to we'll come down in size and squeeze up a bit more. Um, what we're going to be careful of is this flat side. We'll see what happens when we get to that. Sometimes it falls over, sometimes it doesn't. If it does, um, we'll try and take a bit of material off, try and change the angle a bit. If not, it'll go down into this um, vise and uh, as I say, we can then attack it from uh, a different angle and try and put pressure on sort of this way rather than that way. So I'm going to heat this up and we'll be right back. Right, we've heated the first section up, we've put it in there. I'm not putting too much pressure on it, um, I don't want too much, and um, I've not put too much heat in it either because I don't want heat running into that uh, straight handle. So what we're going to do now is just heat up this next section and get that bit soft. I can always go back and do the other. So again, we're using two hot air guns. Try and speed the job up a little bit. And we're not going to make you sit through this, so you can watch this for a while and I'll switch you off. Right, so we've heated the next section up. I've made a little mark of about half an inch uh, just to give me an idea of where I want to be. We're only going to do small sections at a time. We'll do it for now and we'll go back to heating. Right, so we're about ready to change down to a smaller um, shell but again you can see I'm hoping you can see that's quite flexible that horn so plenty of heat in that so we're going to change the uh, shells over to some smaller ones and carry on through uh, it is starting to now um, squash this horn over so we'll do a bit of grinding cleaning up but we'll show you that before we do it <coughs> right I've got the smallest shells in I've got now and I'm going to start from the tip end now and you can see um, how close we are. We're going to slowly feed forward and we're not going to go this small all the way but we're, we're going to try and sort of um, get a, um, a slightly oval uh, cross section because at the moment, um, we've got a horn here, at the moment it's looking like that. We're going to change the cross section by squeezing it and um, this area here definitely wants to be a bit flatter and uh, a different cross section to that. So we'll carry on with this. Just feed it through a little bit. It's still a bit hot from the last uh, heating. here now and continue heating from the rear because we're going to be feeding forward and you can see how the horn now is starting to revert back to its original curl. Um, horn has a memory and uh, you can sort of straighten horn with heat and flatten it but it will always have that memory and uh, if you want to go back to the way it originally grew. Uh, if you leave a nice ram's horn crook in a hot car, you'll find that possibly you'll lose the shape on it. It may open up or it may twist. Now it's the same with timber. So we won't make you sit through this. Uh, I've squeezed up quite a bit. I'm going to put a slightly bigger shell in now 
and start working backwards um, and take some of this material down a bit more. What will also happen as we're squeezing up, we might just gain uh, an inch or two in the length of the horn. So that's not a bad thing. Back soon. Right, so slightly bigger shells going in now. We're now working back the way we, uh, we've we come. And we're going to feed this area here again and then feed the, uh, the horn into uh, these shells slowly. Um, a slow job, <laughs> it has to be done. And um, you'll see the difference from the initial horn we showed you at the beginning of this um, series uh, to what we've got now. So the shape's changed quite a bit and it's going to change uh, some more yet. Again, leaving it nice and soft. Um, yeah, nice and soft. Try not to use too much pressure. We don't want to be tearing the horn, although it will tear anyway. There's going to be a of, quite a quite a bit of damage on the horn, but it's all going to be ground off or filed off. So, and we're going to burn the horn as well. So. We're not too worried at this moment. There we go, and we're going back to heating and repeating the process. Back soon. Right, okay, so we've been through again. Not too bad. Um, I am going to put it through uh, this vice because I just want to flatten these uh, these areas here up and um, we've got a wee bit of a fold to see if we can squeeze that up and then that can be ground out so that's the next thing we'll heat this up we'll go in the um, in the vise and then we'll squeeze that up uh, against that back plate so once it's warmed up and we're starting to squeeze we'll come back right I expect you can see the general idea here we feed the horn through between this dolly and this back plate and we squeeze up. We have plenty of pressure on because that horn will just spring back a wee bit. And while we're doing this should be thinking of putting heat in for the next section.
I saw quite a bit of heat in this, so it's just springing back. So while we have that piece of pipe in there, which is pretty substantial, we also have what you call a dolly, and that'll go in there as well. We'll be right back. Right, so you can see the dolly in use here. This is just got a slight concave in the top, which uh, sometimes helps because the horn does want to twist around. Right, so still a lot of material to take off there. What we're going to do now is just pop this, this between some plates, flatten this a little bit, and then uh, it'll be ready for shaping. After a lot of cleaning, that is. Right, we're going to pop this between these plates, just flatten this off a bit, and uh, we'll get ready then once it's cool for the next operation. And just as a matter of interest, you may be able to see a wee bit of white in the end. And that's the soft material I was telling you about before, which goes around. Later on we'll probably pinch this nose up and uh, that will disappear off the end. But for now, we want to uh, just pop this under here. And that's all for this session folks. I uh, will see you soon. Bye bye.